Good morning. My name is Miss Pam. I'm from Imagine Children's Museum, and I'm glad you decided to join us again for Little Science Lab's water play unit. Today we are going to need a variety of objects that you have right at home, and you can just make your choices so that you can play with water with me. So you're going to need a pitcher of water, you're going to need a tray or a cake pan or a cookie sheet because water is very messy. And then you're going to need a cup so that you can be pouring water into it and taking things out of it. So big enough for your hand to reach in and out. Then I'd like you to go on a pebble hunt. And I want you to get a little cup of pebbles that are pretty close to the same size to one another. Fill up a little dish of pebbles you're going to need another little dish that's empty and then go around the house and see if you can just find a variety of objects. I've got a crayon, a paper clip, a little spoon, packing peanut, another cool rock and I've got this is a golf ball and this is another plastic ball that looks just like a golf ball. So those are some of the things that I've got today, and if you want to go get the things that you need today, then you can play along with me. So if you're ready, I'm ready too. So I'm going to start by pouring my little cup here. It's a deli cup. Sometimes you can use a salsa cup if you want, or you could use a measuring cup from home. I'm going to fill mine just about this full. You can fill yours that full as well. And I have got, like I said before, I've got my golf balls and this other ball. And they look a lot alike. What do you notice about them? They do. They have bumps on them. They're, they have bumps. But it, I'm holding one and this one is actually heavier. heavier. So when I I feel that my hand is going down. This one doesn't feel as heavy. So I'm wondering what you think might happen if I put this ball into the water. Should we find out together? All right, all right, here we go. One, two, three, oh! It went all the way down in the water. What do we call that when things go all the way down to the bottom? We call that sink. You are right. You are right. So I've got my heavy white ball and it was heavier than my other ball. And I am wondering if you can think of what will happen when I put this other ball into the water. Do you think it's going to be just like this one? Let's find out together. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh! Oh my gosh! What happened to our ball? You're right. It's staying right on top of the water. And we call that exactly floating. It's called floating. So we've got two balls that look very closely similar. One goes all the way to the bottom sinks, exactly, and the other floats. So sometimes you can tell what their reaction in the water is going to be by their weight. This one, this one is heavier, and this one is lighter. And so the lighter one is floating, and the heavier is sinking, right? And things, if you'll notice, when our water is right here, when we put the heavy one in there, the water raises up. So objects in water take up space. It makes our water raise up. This one's lighter, it's floating. Our water level is right here. It's so light, it didn't go into the water, it floated. And the water level did not rise. All right. So I am wondering, I've got some other items that I picked up from around and got a crayon and a spoon and a paper clip, some styrofoam, yeah, and my rock. And we are going to predict which will float 
and which will sink. So I'm going to ask you to use your thumb. If you think it's going to float, you're going to do a thumbs up. If you think it's going to sink, you're going to do a thumbs down. All right, so I've got my crayon here. Do you think it's going to float, stay on the top of the water, or sink, go to the bottom of the water? Should we find out? All right, let's find out. <gasps> sink, definitely sink. Let's put our sink items over on this side right here. Oh, here is my styrofoam. Do you think it's going to float, stay on top, or sink? Let's find out. Oh, perfect. Float, exactly. Let's put our float items over here. Let's see, oh, the rock. Do you think it's going to float or sink? Here we go. Up, oh, sink. There we go. And we've got our spoon. Is it light enough to float or is it too heavy and it's going to sink? Let's find out. Here we go. <gasps> Oh, so this spoon is kind of tricky. This spoon, if you have it floating across the top, if you're careful, you can get it to float on top. If you drop it in, oh, oh. float and sink. It sinks. We're going to put this one in the middle. How about our paper clip? Do you think it's going to float or sink? Let's give it a try. Sink, you're right, you're right. So let's count how many sink items we have. One, two, three, oh, and four. This one was a sinker too. And how many floated? One, and this one floated too. So we're gonna count this one as well. So we have four and two. Which one has the most? Our sink or our float? You're right, our sink. Would you like to play another game with me? All right, I'm going to move my items off of the tray. And I would like you to get your pebbles from your pebble hunt. And I am going to fill my little cup up almost to the top. You'll notice if you look carefully that this still has some space, but it's a little bit rounded. Mm -hmm. That's... So we are going to decide, make a prediction, how many rocks or pebbles is it going to take to make our water overflow. We want to have our pebbles take up space in the water and predict how many pebbles before overflow. All right, that's a great guess. Let's see. One, you watch and see if there's any drips. Two, three, oh, not yet. It's getting full. Overflow, four pebbles. How many pebbles can you put in your water before it overflows? That's your game for today. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time.